Did you hear? What? what? What is it? The title of our movie. Is it what no. I think it is? <laughs> Sentence 4 has a new title, so let's break it all down. What's going on, you lovely people? Lisa here, and it's been a while since I've done an update on the next movie in the Descendants franchise. Since the last video I did, I know we've got a ton of new cast members that have been announced, and we have a brand new title for the movie, so let's dive in. When this movie was originally announced, the working title was The Pocket Watch, or Descendants colon The Pocket Watch, and we knew this movie would be kind of a spin-off more so than maybe a sequel in this sense, as this movie follows the characters of Red and Chloe, aka the daughters of the Queen of Hearts and Cinderella. So last year at the D23 Expo, the title card for the presentations for Descendants 4 was up on the big screen, and it was called Descendants 4, not the Pocket Watch. So at that point, I figured Pocket Watch must just be the working title. It's gonna go out the door at some point. Well, now we know the official title of the fourth film in this franchise, thanks to four of the movie's actual stars. I that was great. Guys, what? did you hear? What? what is it? The title of our movie. Is it what no. I think it is? <laughs> Descendants the Rise of Red! Yeah! Yep, the movie will now officially be called Descendants the Rise of Red. It's kind of a cool title. I'm digging it. Now let's go ahead and break down everything we know about this movie so far. Plotline. The film follows Red, the rebellious daughter of the Queen of Hearts, and Chloe, the perfectionist daughter of Cinderella. When the Queen of Hearts incites a coup against Oridon, polar opposites, Red and Chloe must join forces to travel back in time via the Mad Hatter's son's magical pocket watch. They must undo the traumatic adolescent event that sent Red's mother down her villainous path. So yeah, time travel is kind of always a fun plot point or motivator, so it should be fun to see exactly how they do this. But then you got to wonder, if they're successful, will Red still even exist if the Queen of Hearts path changes? Time travel movies, there's always consequences, right? As far as the music goes, the movie will feature seven new songs and Disney classic songs that will help advance the story. Now, let's talk about the cast. We have China Ann McLean returning to this Descendants world as Uma for the fourth installment. She's the only main character from the previous movies to return. Also returning from the OG franchise is Melanie Paxson, who was the fairy godmother. Now, newcomers to the franchise include Kylie Cantrell from Disney Channel's Gabby and the Uncitables as the rebellious Red and Malia Baker from the Babysitter's Club as Chloe. They will be our title characters. Then as their mothers, we have Rita Ora as the Queen of Hearts and the one and only Brandy as Cinderella, which just makes my heart so happy because I know I am not the only one who watched her version of Cinderella back in the day on repeat. Now, of course, we have to wonder, is this the same Cinderella in the same universe or is this a different universe, because we actually get a young Prince Charming in this movie who happens to be played by another Filipino actor or actor of Filipino descent, just like the prince in Brandy's version. But that also brings up some other questions when it comes to the casting, because we have seen the character of Chad Charming, played by Jedediah Goodacre, in the previous movies. He is the son of Cinderella and Prince Charming. I actually think we might have seen glimpses of Cinderella and Prince Charming in those first few movies, even though they might not have spoken or whatever. So this begs the question of, do we erase that we saw that? Is this like some kind of multi-universe other dimension? Which I don't think it is if we're having the same characters, but who knows, multiverses are very popular right now. Or is maybe like Chad adopted or something? I'm curious if they're even going to explain that because they didn't even mention Chad had siblings, did they previously? All right, but back to who's gonna be in this movie. We have High School Musical the Musical, the series fan favorite Dara Renee playing the part of Uliana, the younger sister of Ursula. She is a teen sea witch and mean girl bully with eight wicked tentacles and a crew of lackeys. So basically, she's Uma's aunt. So most of the characters we're gonna be introduced to, it seems like will be part of the time travel back in time in the past. But I know I can't be the only person who wishes it was present day that we're gonna see this character because I would love a duet between China and Dara. I think that would be epic. All right, and speaking of back in time, instead of Oridon prep, we'll be meeting the teen versions of some of our favorite characters as they attend Merlin Academy. New characters include Ruby Rose Turner from Coop and Cammy as Bridget, the young queen of hearts, who is sweet natured, bubbly, and generous, the opposite of her grown up self. Now that's pretty interesting because I'm not sure if I really think Ruby and Rita look much alike, but I guess we're gonna have to see. Morgan Dudley will play Ella or young Cinderella, who is blunt, pragmatic, and has a bit of a chip on her shoulder about being forced to work by her wicked step. 
stepmother. Joshua Robert Coley from senior year plays Hook, one of Uliana's lackeys, a rich kid with a hoop earring and a shiny hook where his left hand should be. His arrogance is only surprised by his vanities. Now, other Merlin Academy students include Anthony Pyatt as young Hades, the younger version of Cheyenne Jackson's character, Peter Lindell as Morgi, the son of Morgana Le Fay from the Arthurian legends. He's also one of Uliana's lackeys. Sam Morellos plays Zelly, the teen daughter of Rapunzel. I love Rapunzel, so I'm kind of glad she's getting some representation here. We have Mars playing young Maleficent, or the young Kristen Chenoweth character. Tristan Padil will play teen Prince Charming. Kabir Bear is teen Aladdin, while Aza Azar, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, is teen Jasmine, and Grace Narducci plays Faye, the teenage fairy godmother. Finally, we have Ted Lasso star Jeremy Swift as Principal Merlin, and Leonardo Nam as Maddox, the son of the Mad Hatter, who is the royal inventor in chief for the Queen of Hearts, as well as Red's tutor and friend, and the maker of the well pocket watch. So yeah, that is a lot of new characters to digest and meet. I know Chloe and Red are going to kind of be at the forefront, as will probably Uliana and Hook, as those were kind of the four main people announced at the very start, and then we're going to meet all these other people who are students. But this leads the door, leaves the door open for so many ways that this franchise could go. I know people have mixed feelings about these movies continuing since the death of Cameron Boyce, but like I said, seeing how big the Descendants in this fairy tale and Disney character world is and how magical it is, I could see why they'd want to continue. So I have a feeling that they're going to honor Cameron in some way. There's so many stories that can be told. Maybe we'll get a mention that Carlos is off thriving somewhere because that's kind of what we want to see and while we're not going to see Dove, Boo Boo, or Sophia back either, I believe in their earlier synopsis they did say a royal baby was part of this plot line so I'm guessing that's going to be Ben and Mal's baby and that's part of the reason for the Queen of Hearts coup. But yeah, especially with this time travel element, that leaves the world open for just a full-on prequel at some point you could do and like I said, there could be many other spin-offs. Now, we don't have a release date as of yet for this movie since it's just wrapping up filming and production, but you never know, it could be here by the end of the year or maybe early next year. All right, so as of now, that is all the details we really have about Descendants 4, or as we now will call it, Descendants Rise of Red. I gotta know all your thoughts and theories down in the comments. What do you think about this new title, the plot? What character are you most excited to meet? And if you could get a spin-off of another Descendants character or a prequel, who would it be? My vote, Dizzy, played by Anna Cathcart, who I absolutely love. And I actually asked her recently about that, if she'd be down to reprise that character. You can check out that interview somewhere over here. Um, but yeah, let me know all your thoughts and theories down in the comments. Be sure to check out some more of my videos right over here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, my name is Lisa. Thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble. I will see you again very soon.